And the next one um, is jealousy. So the next one is jealousy. Resistance to humility through jealousy. Yeah. So can you describe jealousy for us? Well, again, jealousy is the result of us not being humble to certain emotions. Yeah. But, but jealousy is when we are in a rage or feeling angry or unhappy or hurt that uh, through some external event that we had generally no control over. Um, and it's usually related to a person, place, individual or, you know, or, or some kind of action. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is that, uh, for example, we can be jealous that somebody else has a big house. We can be jealous about our partner and what they're doing with their life. We can be jealous for our partner in the sense of feel like uh, our partner is mine. And, you mm -hmm. know, any time she shows anybody else any level of respect or attention, then I'm jealous of her. We can be... Uh, there is also other forms of jealousy related to when we feel our worth is being attacked. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, you know, and this often happens in a partnership where if our partner shows some sexual attention to another person, that we feel a large amount of jealousy because we feel our own sexual worth is now being attacked by her giving her worth to another mm -hmm. or giving her attention to another. Mm -hmm. And the reality is it is being attacked, but, but the reaction of jealousy is a denial of the underlying grief. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So uh, these emotions of jealousy can come up from many different situations and they involve uh, things that in include fe feelings that, that are related to jealousy, um, such as covet coveting uh, a person. So in so other words, coveting? coveting is when um, we feel jealous that another person has a thing that we do not have and so then we want that thing and often we want that thing from that person as well there's a lot of rage in the in in the desire or, or the covetous desire if you like uh -huh. and covetous is an old word i suppose that yeah. you don't hear very often lately because it's sort of like it has biblical connotations uh -huh. um, but but the reality is that it is an emotion of jealousy where we we're, 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 we want something from another that we don't usually have ourselves and we feel that we're missing and when we covet it, we're willing actually to take actions to get it as well. So we re take the extra step of not only just being jealous, but actually taking an action that actually gets the feeling satisfied, mm. uh, which often is very destructive. And people have murdered for that emotion. Mm. People have stolen for that emotion. People have raped for that emotion. There's all sorts of very heavy emotions involved in, in, in those particular aspects of jealousy. So would you say there's a group of key emotions that we would be avoiding when we become jealous? Yes, most of the emotions we avoid are about ourselves. So these are, and jealous-based emotions are always emotions, uh, that, uh, that the, emotions that, the emotions that we are avoiding are always related to ourselves and our own lack of worth. Mm -hmm. So it could be related to our own lack of sexual worth that we're unwilling to feel, our own lack of physical worth, financial worth. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's also often related to security, but with regard to our personal worth with the security. Sure. We're not worth being safe. We're not worth being secure and yeah. so forth. And so because these emotions have deep feelings associated with worth, they're often very prevalent in society as a result. And things like, I'm thinking here now, like things like shame and feeling dirty, that's all related to our worth, isn't it? And very icky kind of emotions to actually connect to. Yes, and so jealousy is sort of the rage associated with our addiction not getting met. Mm. So our addiction, uh, so whatever the addiction is, and the addiction might, you give me a sense of sexual worth. If you don't give me a sense of sexual worth, then I attack you, mm -hmm. you know, and that's an act of jealousy towards you. So you might, if you shared your sex, sexual feelings with somebody else, then I no longer feel any sexual worth, so now I desire to attack you. Mm -hmm. And that in that rageful place, I'm now exhibiting my jealous emotions, which is a denial of humility. Mm -hmm. Because the reality is if, if I was humble, I would feel the hurt of how you don't feel I'm sexually worth staying with. And that is a very different emotion. That is a grieving-based emotion. Mm -hmm. And when we're afraid of feeling that level of grief-based emotion, we go to the jealous, rageful-based emotion. And I feel this is a really murky area, jealousy and the emotions we avoid um, 
that create jealousy. It mm. seems to me that a lot of us even have issues just acknowledging that we're jealous. It, it's such an unpleasant emotion for ourselves even. And that's why I hesitated when I was going to ask you the question about what are the emotions lying underneath it? Mm. Because often I feel the real work we have to do is even acknowledge that, that we, we have are. it. <laughs> yeah. That we feel that way. Yeah. 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 I agree. Um, it, it's the biggest problem with many of these emotions is acknowledging that we have them. It's the same with fear, same with anger, same with feeling, you know, wanting to feel powerful, or, you know, all these what we believe are, you know, what they call them, the seven deadly sins or something, yes, yeah. um, you know, many of those emotions listed there are the emotions where everybody feels a bit sleazy inside of themselves when they feel they have them. Yeah. And it's this level of discomfort and judgment that we have about these particular emotions that causes us to not face what's underneath them. Mm -hmm. Unless I acknowledge that I'm jealous, I am never going to get to the emotion underneath it. Mm. Unless I acknowledge that I'm afraid, I will never get to the emotion underneath it. So part of humility is acknowledging that the emotion exists and is present and is alive within us and is dictating to us our life. You know, that, that, that is a, a very strong part of what we need to do if we're going to become humble to these emotions. It's like we need to admit to ourselves how dark we are before we can become lighter. Yeah. And, and this is a process, what I would call a process, and it's the beginning of a process of repentance actually. To admit to ourselves what things we actually have inside of us is a very important part of actually growing out of those things and, having, and, and becoming different. You can't change something you cannot see or feel. Mm -hmm. And in particular, what you cannot feel, you cannot change. And so if you're, re you're, if you're denying to yourself that you have a feeling of jealousy, this dark emotion of jealousy that maybe could even turn into rage, anger and murder in the end, um, then in, uh, if you're denying it, you're never going to actually change it. You're never going to release it. And you're never going to find what the underlying cause of it is. And as we talked about in the fear section, then we actually give it more power in our lives. Of course, and, and unfortunately, the power is unconscious as well. So, so not only have we given that emotion, let's say it's the emotion of jealousy, more power by not acknowledging its existence, but also because we do not acknowledge our existence, it will dictate our life to us. It will become a jealousy. We will live in the emotion of jealousy most of our life. Mm -hmm. And we will not realise what negative things it's creating even because we will be justifying to ourselves retaining the emotion of jealousy under certain circumstances. So the man who feels that it's right for him to go into a rage with his girl who has just sexually you know, interacted or flirted with another person, he is already justifying to himself rage and a, a very unloving act towards another for the sake of his denial of his own grief about what it meant for him sexually inside of himself that he was now being treated as something that's of lesser value. Mm -hmm. And so he is automatically in large denial of the deeper grief that he doesn't want to choose to feel. Mm. Yeah. Okay, just finally about jealousy. Um, is jealousy, are we always jealous of things that are that people actually have or can we perceive it that's seems, a sad thing isn't yes. it like a lot of the times we're jealous of what we imagine they have yeah. <laughs> a lot of times it's not even real you know like uh, you know we're talking to someone recently where they were jealous of another person because they were young <laughs> like, like um, and had a you know pretty face or whatever you know these are even those things are not real in the sense um, the, the person's not acting in a manner that would cause them to be jealous. They're just jealous of something. It's something. It's always jealousy is always driven by a feeling inside of ourselves, related to generally related to this big emotion of worth yeah. and a lack of worth. Mm -hmm. And it, it might be a lack of sexual worth, physical worth, phys uh, emotional worth, uh, and uh, and even spiritual worth. It can be related to. Mm -hmm. So so je often jealousy is a like a. It creates many imaginings inside of the human mind. Often it imagines things that are not even happening. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it's all created from what you're saying by avoiding these certain worthless, these 
feelings. We prefer to imagine the ba damaging situation that never occurred than we do to feel our grief about it potentially occurring. Mm. Isn't that a, like, amazing? Yes. We'd, we'd, we'd rather have the rage about it never having happened, mm -hmm. <laughs> but believing that it has, mm -hmm. than we would feel the grief that it might happen or has happened in the past. Yeah. yeah. And that's a sad thing.